talk about how to use uh, Microsoft Excel in finding our descriptive statistics like the summary table, the percentiles, the frequency distribution, and even the histogram. Okay, so given the data, we have the company ID and their sales. We're going to copy this data on a separate sheet. Okay, so here it is. So first, let's uh, find out how to uh, to use the Microsoft Excel in uh, finding our summary table. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to select data. Okay, and then data analysis. Then choose the descriptive statistics and click OK. Okay, so in here, for the input range, you're going to select all the given data, including its header, okay, or the sales. Okay, you select it until the uh, last uh, given uh, datum. Okay, so in here, uh, we group them by columns, and then check labels in first row. Okay, for the output range, I want it to appear in uh, cell H. And row one okay and then uh, click summary statistics and then click OK so there you have it you have your uh, summary table your mean is 10.37 your standard error is 0 0.15 your median is 10 okay standard deviation of 1.60 okay the maximum is 13 and the minimum is 4 and the total count of the data is 108, which is actually correct. Okay, so 108. Then after that, uh, let's find out how to find our percentiles. Okay, let's say for example that uh, you want to look for uh, P10 or 10% first, 10%. Uh, 25 percent which is also the quartile one okay then 50 percent the median and then let's say for example you want also to know the 75 or 75th percentile okay so that is also quartile three and 90 percent and 99 percent okay so let's uh, move this one here For this one, you need to select the function, okay, then choose percentile. For the array, you, you need to select uh, the data, okay, so select this. Excluding the header, okay, do not include the header. Okay, up to the bottom, the last one, which is 108, okay. Select it. Then make sure that uh, you put dollar sign before and after each letter. Okay, dollar sign. Okay, that is uh, shift 4 in our keyboard. Shift 4. Okay, 4K, the number that you want to know the percentile. Okay, so you select 10% or uh, P10, 10 percentile. Then it's done okay mm. then you just drag this one to know the rest of the percentiles okay let's move it in center okay so this means that uh, for the 10 percentile you have 8.7 25th percentile or quarter one you have 10 for the 58th percentile, you have also 10, which is the same as the median in the summary table. Okay, so this makes our answer correct. Okay, so for 90%, you have 12, meaning 10% uh, of the companies uh, got uh, 12 or more sales. Okay, and 99%, that means uh, this 99th uh, percentile means that 1% of the given got 13 or more okay so let's uh, label them as p10 for 10 percentile then uh, p25 p50 
uh, P75, P90, and P99. Okay, then uh, you can uh, put the header like uh, percentile. Okay, so that's it's done already. Okay, next we have uh, frequency distribution table. So in here, uh, you will uh, identify your class mark first. Okay, let's say that we have 0, zero to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 12, then uh, 12 or more. Okay. So in here we have our class mark. In every class mark we have uh, upper bin and lower bin. Okay, so let's uh, Say that this column uh, contains our lower bin and then our upper bin. For the lower bin, we just choose the first number 0, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And then for the upper bin, you just choose the latter number 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Okay. So, as you can see from our data, we have uh, 12 or more, like 13, no? uh, and the like. Uh, our frequency distribution table will, um, will have it automatically, okay? So, the command is, uh, you choose data, data, okay, and then choose data analysis. Okay, so we will not uh, see any frequency distribution here. Okay, so let's just uh, select uh, histogram. Okay, then click OK. And then for our input range, you're going to select the data. Okay, so yung sales natin. And then for the bin range, you're just going to choose our upper bin. Okay, upper bin. Okay, and then uh, click labels, make sure this one is uh, selected. And then our output range, let's say for example, I want it to place here. Okay, then you may also select chart output so that uh, you have a histogram in it. Okay, then click OK. Yeah, okay, so... Let's move this one because uh, it will hide our summary table. Okay, let's put it here. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have uh, from uh, 0 to 4, we have 2. Okay, so the highest is uh, 8, to, 8 to 10, okay, which uh, has a 46 count. Okay, so you can uh, uh, get the summary of this one. Let's auto sum. Okay, so we have 108 in total. Okay, then you can uh, arrange the tables no? where you want them to, uh, to appear, and uh, you can format them. Like, uh, for example, this one. Let's put the uh, bottom border. Okay, and then uh, let's make it bigger okay percentiles okay let's uh, put some border okay so this one is the frequency distribution table frequency distribution Okay, uh, you can also edit the uh, font. Okay, 
okay so you can remove this one because you're not going to use it anymore okay let's put it here okay then you can also put the histogram here okay you see that uh, this one is our summary table So there you have it. Okay, so it's done. I think we can do this one here for the mass organization. Yeah, there you have it. So that is uh, how you use uh, Microsoft Excel for our descriptive statistics. Okay, thank you.